Hello friends, welcome again to Codex and my name is Gaurav. Friends, today we are going to discuss Java Loops second part. First part I have already covered. I will give uh, the link into the i description. You can follow it. So in this problem, we will have to use the integers a, b and n to create the following series. So if you are familiar with uh, the arithmetic progression series, the other type of geometric progression series. So this is something similar to it. Just, just the uh, calculation is different. So if you can see the first term will be a plus term will be a plus 2 to the power 0 into b plus 2 to the power 1 into b like this. So if if you can see this second the second term is the first term plus 2 to the power 1 into b like that third term will be second term plus 2 to the power 2 into b input format will be first line contains an integer q denoting the number of queries and in each query we will be given a comma b comma n let's see what is the sample input given here so first is 2 and after that there are two lines in which first one is a second one is b and third one is n so we have to write our code inside this uh, this loop because there are like two cases there and for this case we, our program should print this output in the second case in the next line we should have to print this let's let's see the explanation part of it so if we say if we use a equal to 0 b equals to 2 and n equals to 10 for this one to produce some series the first term is they are telling s0 s1 till s n minus 1 so it will be something like this a 0 plus 0 to the power 0 into b so just let's come to the editor part you can see t t is a number of queries we have taken it something from a scanner and here inside it we are taking a b and n from the console so here if we take this example our a b and n will be 0 2 let me write it here 0 2 and 10 now i am taking one more uh, variable which is sum and we will initialize it to a because if you can see the first term is a plus something similarly a plus call this so I am taking sum and initializing it to a first of all do this okay so we have a now let's say this is sum now plus 2 to the power b sorry 2 to the power 0 into b okay so it will be sum equal to sum plus there is a math function in java math dot pow so that will, it will do power and it will take two arguments that is the first which is the base and then the upper above one is a transcript so it will be j variable like zero 1, 2, so we are taking it as a j variable. Let's try to run a different loop from j equal to 0 to j is less than what is the given n. Yeah, so j is less than n, j plus plus. So as you can see here, s0 equals to s sum plus 2 raised to the power 0 into b. So here we forgot that part into b this will be our s0 right so what will be our s1 s1 will be s0 plus to rest power 1 into b right so that's why 
so when j is 0 this s0 will be calculated when j is 1 s1 will be calculated right so let's try to write it like that some in that case we have to take sum equal to sum plus okay so what we are doing here this will be s0 right this term will be s0 then when it when gen j j will be 1 then it will again fetch the sum from the s0 so this sum will become the s0 here right s1 will be sum plus in this whole let's copy this plus math it will be something like this right so it will be something like this but this all we have already calculated and saved it in a, into our sum variable so we don't have to do again and we are just doing sum plus this one right and print the sum in every iteration then as soon as you come out of this loop we have to do, give it is the output format that we have to print how we'll see this then in the next line this and one more thing we have to give space after each sum so do it plus this let's try to run this code we might be getting a compiler error i will tell you why so you can see the reason incompatible types post possible lossy conversion from double to int because math dot power will return a double so you have to do something you have to type cost it to int okay try to run this code now it will work fine instead of this we can also do we can also use the shorthand operator because in that in with the use of shorthand operator it will uh, automatically add that it will automatically do the uh, down cost of it try to run this code try to submit this code that's it friends for today i will be providing uh, the problem and solution link into the description also if you like this video and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends